Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable enterprise state roaming in Azure Active Directory. Enterprise state roaming helps Azure Active Directory users to gain the ability to securely synchronize their user settings and application settings data to the cloud. If you have worked with Active Directory, you may already know what a roaming profile is. Enterprise state roaming in Azure Active Directory is similar to roaming profile in Active Directory domain service. In order to enable this feature, you must have Azure Active Directory Premium or Enterprise Mobility plus Security License. Let's check the benefits of Enterprise State Roaming. First, Enterprise State Roaming provides the same end user experience across Windows devices. Second, it reduces the time needed for the end user to configure the new device. And third, settings sync between Windows devices and Azure are secured. In this video, we will see the steps on how to enable and configure enterprise state roaming for selected user in Azure Active Directory. Let's sign in to the Azure AD portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com On Azure AD portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform these steps. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on Enterprise State Roaming. Here we have option Name users may sync settings and app data across devices. By default, none option is selected. That means Enterprise State Roaming feature is currently not enabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. To enable it, you can select All or Selected option. If you choose All option, Enterprise State Roaming feature is enabled for entire directory. If you choose Selected option, you will need to define the users. In this demo, I'm going to enable Enterprise State Roaming for our test user name test user 1 to test this feature first. Choose Selected and click on No Member Selected link to select our user. Click on Add and from the list select our user test user 1. Click on it and click on select. Verify test user 1 is selected. Click on OK. Once selection is made, click on save. We can see the confirmation message successfully updated enterprise state roaming settings. I think that was the message. Successfully updated enterprise state roaming settings. After the feature is enabled, we can review the sync status using Active Directory Admin Center. To do this, click on Users. Click on Test User 1. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on View Devices, Syncing Settings and App Data Link. In this list, it shows the devices that user logged in and the last sync time. But here we can see we have not seen any devices syncing settings or app data for this user message. So now let's go to our Windows 10 computer which we have joined to our Azure Active Directory in the last video. And on this computer uh, we have sign in using the credential of a test user 1. Uh, let me click on settings. Let me show that this computer is part of our Azure Active Directory. Let's click on Accounts, click on Access Work or School. Okay, we can confirm that uh, this computer is connected to MSFT Webcast Azure Active Directory. So now we have everything ready for testing. Uh, before we start, there is a few things to remind. 
there is only sync user and app settings not user data also uh, sync is not happening at login or log off event it happens once user login so let, let me close this and here we have a one uh, image uh, i want to set this image as a desktop background okay so we have set up this image as a wallpaper in this windows 10 computer okay if you do not see sync data right away after login allow some time and keep eye on last sync time value uh, apart from the wallpaper uh, let me open microsoft edge uh, because we want to modify certain settings so which we can see on another computer i have set up uh, google.com as a home page uh, also i have added one uh, bookmark for microsoft.com website and uh, let me show the favorites Oh, sorry let me click on favorites and here we can see we have added two websites google and microsoft inside the uh, favorites bar okay after making those changes i'm going to sign out from this uh, windows 10 computer uh, let me sign out okay uh, let me again sign into this uh, uh, windows 10 computer perfect uh, again uh, i'm going to uh, restart this windows 10 computer because you want to see the sync data in uh, azure active directory admin center i think some errors are there okay let's go back to the azure ad admin center let's click on test user 1 uh, click on refresh and uh, let me refresh the entire web page and let's see what happens okay we are on test user 1 profile page Uh, we are on devices let's click on view devices and syncing the settings and update a link still nothing there so i'm going to pause this video recording and once we have something here okay now now we can see uh, we have one uh, device named win10 hyphen cli01 okay so it is syncing with this windows 10 computer let me click on test user 1 click on refresh Okay so we have successfully enabled enterprise state roaming in Azure Active Directory for our test user one and we can see this Windows 10 computer is syncing settings and app data with Azure To confirm it we have another fresh installed Windows 11 computer First we will join that Windows 11 computer to Azure Active Directory Uh, this is our fresh installed Windows 10 computer. Uh, first, we will join this computer to our Azure Active Directory. For that, I'm going to click on Start button and let's click on Settings. Uh, first, let me show you the host name of this computer. I'll click on About. Uh, you can see the host name is Win10 Hyphen CLI02. Okay. Let's click on Home. Click on Accounts. Currently we have login with the local user account name Ajay. Click on access work or school. Then we need to click on connect. Click on join this device to Azure Active Directory. Uh we'll be prompted to enter the Azure Active Directory user account credential. Again, I'll use test user one's credential, which is going to be user one at msaptwebcaster dot on microsoft dot com. Click next. Enter user password. Click on sign in. Uh, click on join. All set. Click on done. we can see this windows 10 device is now connected to msft webcast as a active directory okay now i'm going to close it we also want to confirm that this device is part of the device list in azure active directory so let's go back to the azure active directory admin center uh, i'm going to click on refresh here now we can see we have two devices named win10 hyphen cli01 Win ten hyphen CLI zero two. Ah, here we can see the was information join type is Azure Active Directory add join. 
This is the timestamp when we have registered this device to our Azure Active Directory. Okay, let's go back to the newly joined Windows 10 computer and from here I'm going to sign out from the local user account. Okay, let's sign out. And now let's sign in using this user one's user account. Click on other user. In this new computer, we expect to see the changes which we have made on our old computer. Let's enter the taste user one's user credential, which is going to be user one at msfdwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. Let's enter user password and click on submit. Okay, the user profile is going to be created on this Windows 10 computer because this is the first time we have logged in using that user account on this Windows 10 computer. Let me click on OK. OK, we need to perform the multi-factor authentication. So let's verify our identity. OK, the verification code is 874520. OK, let's click on verify. I think now it will ask us to set up the pin. So I'm going to set up the pin. Click on OK. OK, all done. Let's click on OK. OK, we have successfully signed into this uh, new Windows 10 computer. Uh, we can see the desktop wallpaper is not there. OK, and uh, not that that text file which we had earlier on the old computer. But let's check bookmarks in Microsoft Edge web browser. Let me remind you that we have set up google.com as a home page uh, in that Microsoft Edge and we have also created one bookmark for Microsoft website. So we are expecting uh, those bookmarks in uh, Microsoft Edge web browser. So let's click on Microsoft Edge. And we can see google.com is there uh, set as a uh, home page and uh, let me show the same thing for Microsoft.com. Yeah, we can see Microsoft.com website is there. And if we open a new tab, here we can see it is on a favorite bar as well. So the setting is uh, syncing successfully in this uh, Windows 10 computer as well. Uh, let me show the name, settings, uh, click on accounts. And uh, here we can see we have login using the credential of a TS201. Uh, let me show the host name of this computer. It is win 10 hyphen CLI 02. So we can see the bookmarks are there in Microsoft Edge web browser, but not the wallpaper because we have put that image on desktop. And I think that is the reason why the wallpaper is not syncing to this new Windows 10 computer. And suppose uh, if you don't see those changes here on a new computer, uh, you need to wait a little longer uh, to complete the sync process in this uh, new computer. But after seeing this bookmarks in Microsoft Edge web browser, uh, we can say that enterprise state roaming feature is working perfectly fine in our Azure Active Directory. But still, we want to confirm it on uh, Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So let's again jump back to our Azure Active Directory Admin Center web interface. Okay, uh, first I'm going to click on refresh here. Uh, we can see both computers are there. But this time we are going to click on view devices, syncing settings and app data link. And if the syncing is happening between those devices, then we should be able to see both devices listed on that page as well. Okay, so let's click on that link. Uh, right now we can see, okay, now we can see uh, we have two devices where the sync is happening for settings and app data for a T201. And those two devices are Win 10 hyphen CLI 01 and Win 10 hyphen CLI 02. And after seeing this, we can confirm 100% that enterprise street roaming feature is working perfectly fine in our Azure Active Directory tenant. And if you don't see the changes between old computer and new computer, you need to wait a little longer to see the result for enterprise street roaming feature.
So that concludes the video on how to enable enterprise state roaming in Azure Active Directory. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.